Hi, my name's Catherine from National Rail Inquiries, and I'm going to show you how to edit a journey. We're going to talk about adding a return, viewing the journey details, and adding a rail card. So if we go on the home page, I'm going to do a journey plan from Manchester to London. And we'll set that to go next week. Click go. That's going to come back with our times and fares. So we've got five journeys that is returned here, the cheapest one being at 10.15. But I actually wanted to do a return journey, so I'm just going to show you how to edit those options without going back. There's this button at the top here, edit your journey, and that'll open up this panel here. And there's a button there called add a return. Click on that, and you can put in when you want to come back. So I shall put in that I want to come back the day after at, say, 12.15 and update train time so it will go back and bring me the outward and return journeys. So, if we scroll down we can see both the outwards and, and the returns. One of the other things that people said was a problem was finding out the details for a particular journey. So if you look at this button here, this blue eye, this is what used to be called details on the old version of the website. So all that information is still there, it just says an eye now instead of details. And we can see that you've got the Manchester to Euston train, it's a Virgin Trains service and you can see the calling point. So if someone was getting on the train that you were on, you could find out what time it was stopping at their station. If we just click back to train times and fares, I'm just going to show you how to show you how to add a rail card. You can do that through this edit bit as well. Click on edit to journey and there's this um, bit of the accordion here called passenger details. If you click on that, here you can specify the number of adults and children that are going and I've got this add rail cards button and if you click on the drop down you can choose which rail card you've got so I'm going to choose a 16 to 25 click add and that'll add it on and then check fares and this will come back with the reduced price for travelling with a rail card As you can see in our little basket down here, it's telling you that the savings have been applied and we know that we've got a rail card on there. Click buy and that'll open up the retailer window. I think in this case it's going to be Virgin Trains. And that'll have all our details on it. So we've got our adults with our rail cards and the same, same ticket price. If we go back to the home page, you can see we've got the same button to add a return journey on the home page and so you can put your return straight in. And this passenger icon here contains all of the information about number of adults and children and the rail cards, exactly the same as you've got within the editor journey button on the journey planner page. Just the same, you'd click on 16 to 25 or senior rail card or whatever you've got, click on ads and that'll add in the amount of rail cards. I hope that's helpful. If you've got any questions or comments, please um, post them back on the video or get in touch with me via Twitter, nre underscore Catherine. Cheers, bye.